Hello and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. Today I'm going to run through how I built this uh, seed starting stand with grow lights. This is something that I just kind of put together with different things I've purchased and I think it'll make a great spot to start my seedlings and I'm going to uh, share with you all the things that I purchased and how I put it together and some different uses that you could use something like this for. So let's get started. So starting with the shelf here, as you can see, it's just a smaller version of what I've been using over here for my indoor growing. These are just uh, storage racks that you can pick up at um, Walmart and um, Canadian Tire online with Amazon, I'm sure. And they're great for, I think, for growing because they have the the metal uh, shelves that are easy to attach to. Uh, you can adjust these shelves and so you can make them any height that you want, which is kind of nice if you want to have less space on some and more on others. If you're going to be growing bigger plants or starting bigger plants, you can adjust it just the way you like. So the reason I chose this type of stand is um, it's small and I can put it up on a, on a table as I've done here and it's very easy to work with so you're not crawling around on the floor. It doesn't take up a lot of space, it's only two feet wide. So if you want to set it up, you know, somewhere in your living room or dining room, wherever you um, have a little bit of space, it's not going to take up too much, too much of your space. So I have three different types of lights set up on my stand here right now. This is the, the top one is a Jiffy LED grow light. I purchased this from Walmart. I think it was 60 bucks. I haven't used it yet, but so you can see it has a little stand here. So you can kind of move it around over top of your seed trays. So I think it'll work good. So on the second shelf here, I've hooked up this grow light and it is one that I got for Christmas as a gift and it is a, another LED grow light that you can purchase on Amazon and I believe I've seen them in Lowe's. And again, it's a nice fit for this shelf because it's a two foot light and so it fits good. And on the third level here of my shelf, I have a couple clamp lights that I've uh, put in place here. As you can see, they attach to these posts really easily and I have a couple grow light bulbs in there. I purchased them from the dollar store for only four dollars I believe so they've worked well. So these again can be adjusted and um, lowered or raised as your seedlings start out. So that's another option of grow lights that work well in this shelf. So as you can see here this, these, um, these seed starting trays that I purchased and used for um, starting my seeds for growing microgreens, they fit very nicely on these shelves as well. So um, that would be something that if you have, you don't have, don't necessarily need them, but um, I start my seeds in a variety of ways. I've got these little uh, jiffy pods that um, expand. You just fill up the tray with water and they expand and you start your seeds in them. So that works good under these lights. You can also collect different food containers, such as these sushi dishes that have a nice little dome. Plant your seeds right inside there. Down here I have a seedling heat mat, which fits nicely into these trays as well. So if you are one that wants to use one of those to start your seeds, that will work well in this configuration as well. And I also have some Jiffy Pots like this that I'll be starting my seeds in. So again, put them in a tray. It's easy to bottom water these right in place like this. These shelves are also good for putting your house plants on. If you don't have a, um, a lot of seed starting going on, if you're just starting a few things, you can also use this for um, propagating and uh, rooting your cuttings, such as I'm doing here. I have this um, string of hearts plant that I'm just trying to propagate here. Um, I have my 
coleus plant that I brought in last fall from my garden and I have been uh, taking cuttings and propagating them. Getting some nice roots going here so I can get some more of these going in little pots so that once it gets warm enough outside, these I'll have a nice collection of coleus plants to put into my flower pots. The other thing that's kind of handy with these this shelving system here is you can lower your lights by just using some, some chain and a couple S hooks here. So when your seedlings are just starting out and you need to get your light as close as you can, just get a couple S hooks and you can adjust each end. And that way you can have your lights nice and close for when they first germinate. And then as things start to grow, you simply just take your chain and move it up a few lengths and Set your lights up a little higher as needed. For this type of light here, um, what I use is just have a good supply of uh, pieces of wood so that you can raise your seedlings up, you know, as close to the light as they need to be until they germinate. And then as they start to grow, you just remove the wood and that works out good for this type of light. I always encourage everybody to uh, bottom water your seedlings always. So these trays, like I say, work really good for that. You don't have to worry about pulling them out or spilling water. You can just directly pour your water right in here and let your uh, seedlings just soak it up. So that is another nice part about this shelf setup pretty easy to maintain your plants. And I always recommend people get a timer just to make life easy. Um, this one here I purchased from Walmart and it has the timer built right into the power bar, which is very nice. One side is on the timer and the other side of the is um, just a regular plug-in. So if you have something that you don't want on the timer to use on that side, it's handy to have such as uh, my arrow garden. I have it plugged in on this side because it has its own timer on it. So, so definitely worth the investment. So as you can see, there's a lot of uses you can get out of uh, purchasing a small shelf like this and a few grow lights. And at the end of the season, this shelf will be good for storing other things on. It's easy to take apart and put away if it's... Uh, taking up space. So I hope you enjoyed watching how I built my seed starting stand. I will leave links below to all the uh, items that I've used in mine so that you can check out prices and come up with a plan that works with your budget and your growing needs. And if you haven't already done so, I hope that you will hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any other uh, videos that once they come up on the channel. So thank you for watching and have a great day.